What is up my veggies? My name is VTR and welcome back to another movie review and today we are reviewing Fear Street Part 2 1978. Going into this I didn't know what to expect uh, because of my mixed feelings on the first movie. Um, but this one I had I had mixed feelings going into it so I didn't know what to expect so Personally, the movie. Okay, let's get. What, what's the story? So obviously, the movie first starts off with the them going to this person um, at the. Um, sorry, my brain, my brain farted. Um, go to this person that's dealt with this uh, crap before, and then it goes into the past plot of 19, 1978, which personally. I enjoyed this one more because to mention the characters in the first movie I was not the biggest fan of except for the like the brother character and the uh, other girl that got her head mangled um, I liked them I really was not a big fan of the main character and this movie doesn't really the, she, she's barely in it so I don't <laughs> But I'm going to judge this mostly on the whole, the bulk of the movie, which it's like an old school slasher, which with all this possession and weird crap plot elements with the, the stuff. That's, besides that, though, this is definitely a more enjoyable horror film with this movie. I did enjoy. I liked it. it. It's got the main uh, one of the character, a girl that uh, plays a character in Stranger Things, in it, and she does a great performance. Uh, you get all, all these other characters in here have a great performance. I feel like you really sympathize with some of these characters with some of the stuff they go through, and it's you get to see interesting dynamics and stuff so you feel that Friday the 13th influence you feel that early slasher influence especially Friday the 13th like Sleepaway Camp um you feel those influences in this movie which is insane and I actually really like what they do with this movie and they actually feel the tension and everything and I'm gonna go ahead and say this spoilers real quick it's a little spoiler I just wanna say this right now this movie's got some balls I ain't gonna lie because freaking um, this movie kills off some kids, like actual kids. It doesn't like it's it's surprising. A lot of horror movies are scared to do that, and it's interesting to see them do it. Um, the, the kills in this um they're pretty decent. I like some of the kills that they go about in this movie. I think the kills are a lot of fun. I think this whole scenario is fun. I love the camp setting. Um. I love learning a little more about this town, these two towns, and learning how like there's been a whole rivalry throughout all these years. I love learning that. Um, it's super interesting to see where these movies are going and learning like and the different time period stuff is really interesting to show each movie with a different time period. So far, this is the best of this trilogy that I've seen. I haven't seen the third one yet. But I did really like the direction they took this movie and had a lot of fun with what they were going for, which was done pretty well, if you ask me. Um, to get in some of the negatives, there's a reveal I, that apparently was supposed to be a reveal, but I thought it was obvious already. That I didn't think that you, I, I thought we were, the audience would have already known. And it's like, oh no, but the, but the, I, I don't know. Going into it, I didn't, I didn't think that what they revealed. Uh, uh, what they revealed is like, yeah, I already knew that. You were trying to make us think it was this other thing, which was really, really dumb in my opinion. Um, but the way this movie is handled and the structure and the, the interesting dynamics and some of these characters are like your typical slasher you're gonna die type characters um you get the stereotypical characters in here but then you get some characters that have a certain personality trait and then you learn like okay but this is the reason i'm this way and this is the reason why i don't hang out with this person anymore 
And it's really compelling at points. I like the way these characters' dynamics work off of each other. And when you get to see some characters die, it's actually kind of heartbreaking. And learning like how things didn't go a certain way with some characters, and in the future they're in a different way. I, like th- things are different. I'm trying to say this without spoiling it. It's really just really interesting how they handle these characters and how things are done. Um, get into a, a bit of the negatives here is like, like I said that plot twist thing is like really doesn't even need to be felt like I don't know I, I felt like that was obvious. Um, and I don't know. It's I don't really have much complaints about the movie. I did really enjoy this one, and I think a lot of people, uh, probably not just me, I may, uh, um, um, sorry, my mind is blanked. But this movie is a lot of fun with what the it tackles. Uh, the critics uh, actually give this on Rotten Tomatoes good an 87, and audiences give it an 80, which I feel like is a fair chance, and I kind of agree with those. Uh, it's, it's got some issues, a little bit of pacing at points, and just a little bit of, like, I wish we would have had some a t- little more time with certain characters. Uh, you do get, like, a, a character bumped off that I didn't really like. It's a little bit of an annoying character, so I'm like, okay, good to see you. I didn't like you, and it gives this other character a place to grow. I'm not trying. I'm trying to not sp- say names or characters or anything like that. But the two, the two main uh, female leads in this uh, are really compelling characters. I like their story and how they do things, and I like the ties in with the first movie, even though this takes place in the past. Learning more about this, this um, I don't remember what it's called, but uh, learning more about the where what's the uh, learning more about the. Uh, about the history of Shady Side and all that with the uh, the possess- possessions and stuff. I don't know. I'm trying to. But this movie is a lot of fun, and I think a lot of people are going to enjoy this if they haven't seen it already. Um, personally, I'll give it a three and a half out of five. I feel like that's a good middle ground to put this at. It's got a little bit, a little bit of pacing and problems and stuff, but for the most part, this movie is a lot of fun, and I think a lot of horror fans are gonna definitely eat this one up, especially if you're a Friday the Thirteenth fan. And I would think, with all the Friday the Thirteenth movies I've reviewed, I would feel pretty burnt out on this formula, and re- also recently reviewing the Sleepaway Camp series. Um, which, yes, I will get to the fourth one. Oh, don't you, don't you worry, I will get to the fourth one. But that's really uh, all I got to say for this video, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. What did you guys think of um, the Fear Street Part 2? I'd love to know what you guys think. Did you think it was good? Do you think it was bad? Um, uh, which one's your favorite? Uh, I'm very curious um, to know, really know what people's stance on this entire, ooh, what this entire franchise is. Because... Is it's it's something that's a surprise. Like a lot of stuff that gets dumped on Netflix, uh, in the horror genre is just a little bit of hey. But this movie I really do enjoy, and I think a lot of people are going to love this movie if they haven't already seen it. Go check it out. I'd I'd love for to know what you guys think. I'm trying to stretch this out to ten minutes. Just give me, just give me, bear with me. Bear with me. Um, upcoming reviews I'm going to go ahead and mention real quick Um, I have plans for the second escape room review coming up Uh, Antlers um, the rest of Wrong Turn the final Wrong Turn movie actually we got one more in that franchise Uh, like I said a minute ago the uh, Sleepaway Camp Part 2 or not Part 2 the final Sleepaway Camp movie also going to finish that up at the rest Friday the 13th want to try to start the Hellraiser franchise because that new one just on the trailer um, so planning on picking up those franchises, uh, soon, and maybe we'll even, uh, I want us to also start that on Elm Street soon, um, obviously Anaconda is gonna continue, and that's really all I've got to say, though, for this review, guys, there's a whole bunch of stuff coming for the rest of VTF Free Frights, we still got all of October to go, so we got plenty of videos coming, so do not worry about that. 
Um, and it may it may even last to no through halfway through November, maybe. Who knows? I just like making horror videos; they're a lot of fun. Uh, but that's all I gotta say, guys. Oh, and uh, I do want to try to review season one of Chucky before, um, before um the season two starts airing, and I'll probably review those episode by episode as they come out. So keep an eye out for that. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!